this is an overview of the accounting cycle where we look at how a transaction is recorded in a journal how it is then posted to the general ledger and in some cases also, also to subsidiary ledgers then how the general ledger is summarised into the trial balance. We then do any adjustments, and the adjustments will take place in the general journal. After we have done the adjustments, we have the adjusted trial balance, and from the adjusted trial balance, we can produce the um, income statements. In particular, here we'll focus on the balance sheet and the income statement. And then we do the closing entries and we have the post-closing trial balance so we can start the next year. So to begin with, let's just review the overall accounting process. So we can consider accounting to be the process of recording, organising and summarising the transactions of an entity to enable decision making. And that's the key thing, to enable decision making. So the process of recording, which we do in the journals, organising, which we do in the accounts, which is really the general ledger, and summarising, which is the financial statement, the transactions of an entity to enable decision making. So transactions are brought to account by the way of a journal. These journals are grouped in their appropriate categories um, when we post them to the general ledger. And we summarise the information from the general ledger in a trial balance and we report this in the financial statements. So let's have a look at the accounting flow. And I'd remind you of the accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. The accounting equation um, is part of the, the overall structure, part of the framework of the um, accounting process. And so you understand that, you'll start to see other things in a clearer light. So let's see, firstly we have a transaction. And we bring that, that transaction into visibility, we bring that transaction into account by recording it in a journal. So that's this area here, the journal. Now in this unit we have looked at special journals and the general journal. We've looked at four special journals, the sales special journal. In it we record credit sales. We have the purchases special journal. And in it, we record purchases we make on credit, credit purchases. Then we have the cash receipts special journal where we record pretty much everything that goes through our bank account in terms of deposits. And we have the cash payments special journal. That's everything that goes through our bank account in the way of withdrawals. If it doesn't go into one of these entries, one of these journals, it will then go in the general journal. Now, if you enter an item in the sales journal, you also have to enter, make an entry in the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger. So if you make a credit sale, that is an account receivable, so you need to record the information in the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger. When you make a credit purchase, you record that in the purchases journal. And the purchases journal when you record something in the purchases journal, it must also be recorded in the accounts payable subsidiary ledger. There will be some items in the cash receipts um, special journal that would also go in the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger. So for instance, uh, you make a credit sale, when that person pays, you're gonna record that in the subsidiary ledger for accounts receivable. Similarly with a credit purchase. You make a purchase on credit and when you pay it, you will record the payment in the accounts payable subsidiary ledger. 
So let's review. We have a transaction. You record that transaction in a lead in a journal, and then you post that to the general ledger. Sometimes we've also been using T accounts. So the general ledger is typically in the order of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. So the capital account here is owner's equity. Owner's equity has some other components. It also has revenue or income and expenses. There is two other items which would go under here, which we won't look at in this model, but would be drawings by the owner. They've drawn uh, capital out of the business or they've introduced capital, capital introduced. But we'll think at this moment, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity um, is the accounting equation. And that tells us the order of our accounts in the general ledger. When we've completed um, the transactions for the year, and in fact we can have this at any time, but when we've completed the transactions for the year, we summarise the general ledger in the trial balance. And what's the trial balance? It's just a list of all the accounts and their account, account numbers and account balances. That's the trial balance. Then we'll get to, to a stage where we will do adjustments. So what are adjustments? Well, there's some items uh, such as depreciation that spread over more than the current accounting period. And so we might have recorded um, the initial purchase of, of, the, um, of an asset. And now we need to apportion the actual cost of that expense. So we do that through adjustments. From that we produce the adjusted trial balance and from the adjusted trial balance we can prepare the financial statement. Um, and so the two items we're looking at here is the balance sheet. So your assets um, equals your liabilities plus your owner's equity. And then the income statement or also known as a revenue statement or the profit and loss statement. But the uh, income statement is your um, income less expenses equals your profit and then the profit will eventually find its way back into the owner's equity. When that is completed, we've produced our income statements, we then close off our financial statements so we can start them again next year. And Closing them off means we empty out all the temporary accounts. What are the temporary accounts? Well, they're everything below capital. Our income, all our income accounts, all our expense accounts will be emptied out into the capital account so that our post-closing post trial balance will only have in it assets, liabilities and one owner's equity account. So that is an overview of the accounting cycle. This is a simple overview of the accounting cycle starting from transactions, um, following through to writing a, a journal to bring the transaction to visibility, to posting that journal to the general ledger, and then summarising the balance of all the general ledger accounts in the trial balance then going through the close-off process and producing the financial statements and the balance sheet and finally ending up with a post-closing trial balance. Uh, so let's go back to the start and we'll look at this with a very simple example. Um, the example is you receive a thousand dollars cash for a sale and at the moment we'll just use the general journals though in this unit we have also referred to three uh, four special journals, the cash receipts special journal, the cash payments special journal, the sales special journal and the purchases special journal. So the journal cash receipt, let's see what happens. We um, make a sale of $1,000 and we record that cash at bank debit. 
and we'll see immediately that goes into cash at bank debit in the general ledger here that we're using T accounts for the general ledger and then I'll record the revenue item and so revenue debit cash at bank credit revenue 1000 and that will go 1000 in our revenue so we can go over to our trial balance and see our trial balance balances of a thousand dollars each so our assets are one thousand and our revenue is one thousand so when we close off that revenue will just go straight into owner's equity so remember that assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity and revenue and expenses are a subset of owner's equity that's the first bit of the transaction the second uh, transaction is expenses five hundred dollars so debit expenses credit cash at bank and we'll see when we did that debit expenses that we debit um, we debited the expenses five hundred dollars and then we will see when we credited cash at bank we now come up here and the credit is posted into the ledger now our trial balance assets five hundred dollars being the cash at bank revenue one thousand and our expenses are five hundred still balancing at one thousand so we get to um, the end of the period and we can produce our financial statement so revenue one thousand dollars expenses five hundred net profit is five hundred that net profit comes up here to owner's equity so we've got assets five hundred dollars equals owner's equity of five hundred dollars with no liabilities then we get to the stage of closing off the accounts and again this would be a um, general journal I haven't put in the space for the general journal but basically what that will be about to close off the accounts will be um, our revenue is one thousand dollars in revenue so we will debit um, revenue one thousand dollars to bring it back to zero our expenses are five hundred dollars so we will credit expenses they're currently a debit balance we will credit expenses 500 to bring that back to zero and then the difference will go um, into our owner's equity account a bit later I will show you these journals in a lot more detail and going through the full cycle of the um, closing entries